everybody. Hey, Christine. I look like shit. I haven't had time to do anything. I'm mixing the boxy because for this mold, you need a lot of the boxy. Hey, Wen. Long time no see, mama. I'm feeling good. Um, so far, no headache today, but I've been miserable this past week with a headache. I don't know what to do anymore. Can you guys see me okay? I think it's dark, but I didn't do my hair, so I had to put a hat on to hide it. I'm mixing epoxy here. I'm not very good at mold, but hey, Sandra. Long time no see. I'm not good at making mold, but I like the way this one came out. So I wanted to do a tutorial if you guys are interested, because this mold is, was part of the mystery box. Yeah, I see. I haven't seen you, not even in your group, Mama. Hobby keeping you busy? <laughs> Shoot, send him back to work. Tell him he's not allowed to retire anymore. If he's retired, he's the one supposed to be doing stuff, not you. Hey, Michelle, hi, Lisa. I didn't even announce I was going to have a live. Trying. <laughs> we got to convince him. Go back to work. My God, this is so much epoxy, so hard to mix. Oh. This is what I'm gonna be making. Look how pretty it is. And it's the, the mold that came with the mystery box. Somebody asked me and I didn't know what it was for has this uh, little piece here. So you could use the mold for a coaster by itself, but if you wanna use it to put a plate on, uh, you just, you know, connect them together. And then you could put your plate. This is the one I posted in the group. So you connect them and then you could use it for plate, for a plate instead of just for a coaster. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I couldn't work on cups because it's been raining since I woke up all night long. It came out really pretty and let me tell you, this is my first mold because I suck at doing mold. <laughs> but it's part of the mystery box and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try one. And um, I still got to clean it up and stuff, but... It's really pretty. Purple. The one I'm gonna do today, it's uh, gonna be kind of like turquoise because I love turquoise. So. I'm gonna put gloves on because I am very messy, so. 
Lisa, I don't sell the mold. I don't sell mold. That mold was part of the mystery box as a free gift in the mystery box. You know, I always put something in there. I get my molds from Real Me A10. She's uh, the recommended seller in our group. That's where I get the molds. But this one was just for the mystery box. So I'm gonna bring you guys down so you see. Um, I use, I mix like nine ounces uh, of uh, epoxy. I usually have extras, but you might not need this much. The reason why I do that much is because with this mold, you could do like, you could fill it up or you could make it thinner. It's up to you. You don't have to make it to the top. But I try to get it, you know, to the top as, you know, as much as I can. Plus I want to make sure that I have enough for everything I need. So I'm gonna bring you guys down. So you guys see what I'm doing? Are you guys there, good there? So I'm gonna get one, two, three. And I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna make a mess, I know. But I'm going to put some here. I'm going to put some here. So we're going to use, um, I'm going to use alcohol ink. I'm going to use mica. And I'm going to use glitter. So for now, I'm going to do, hey Amanda, for now I'm going to do four and see if I need something else. But we're still going to need this epoxy because over here, if you see, I have some clear right here and that's what I wanted. I wanted this piece clear, you know, in, um, you can see clear more in, like in this one, you can't see it because it moves a lot, but I like it. So but I wanted it to see some clear in it. And that's what I, I'm gonna show you what I did. So I'm going to start with, I'm gonna use my alcohol ink for this one. I'm gonna go with like teal color. And I want this color to be a little darker. I mix it really good. I might need to add more alcohol ink. Cause I don't want it this light. I might, I, yeah, I like it this light actually. It looks pretty. Let me add a little more, but I don't want it too dark. So I did a purple one, so I didn't want to do purple again. I decided to go live because it's been raining here, so I couldn't paint any cup. All I've been doing is glitter orders, and I have glitter everywhere. So when I finish here, I'm gonna take a shower. Okay, so we have the alcohol ink, then we're going to use um, Atlantic Dive Mica. I think I filled this one up too much, but I don't want to run out of color. This color is, this mica is so pretty. 
So beautiful. But I put too much epoxy, so it's hard to mix. Just make sure you're mixing really good. I don't care if I'm spilling some, but make sure you mix it really good before you put it on your mold. No problem, Michelle. I know a lot of people are working. I just wanted to come live now because I have nothing to do. So I'm like, ah, let me go live and do this. So like I say, make sure you mix it good before you put it on the mold because you don't want like little pieces of micas. Can you guys see? I think I'm mixing, you can't. There. I've been doing life forever and I still can figure out how to put the phone so you guys could see better. There. I don't care about the bubbles because once I place it there, you know, they will come to the center and then they would pop. So I'm not worried about bubbles. Then I'm going to use this Atlantic dye. I'm going to use some sea moss. If I need more, I'll add more. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I hope it comes out pretty. As all you know, I love turquoise. So, teal, all those colors. I love all those colors. I probably should have used um, a smile with this one, but I love Seamus. Um, I mix, this time I mix nine ounces. Uh, you might not need that much. Um, when you're making this mold, you don't need to make it, you know, you don't have to fill it up completely. It's your decision, so I always, for some reason, I suck at measuring um, epoxy, so I just mix a lot, and if I have extra, like I had extra with the other one, so I made a mermaid tail, I made a straw topper, and I can't find the white now. And then I need white mica. We don't really use a lot of white, but. So when I place the glitter, I did it differently. I did not mix my glitter with epoxy. So I just placed the glitter there. I'll show you in a minute. Because I wanted it to see the glitter more coming up, coming through more instead of um, the preparation is what kills you you know you have to do so many preparation like oh once you have everything ready it's so easy to do so there you go so we have the glitters, we have the mica, and we have the alcohol ink. So what I do is I add the glitter 
straight to the mold. Just because I want the glitter to um, pick through, I don't want it to be, you know, like I did here, you know? I put the glitter the same way, so you could kind of see the glitter more. So I add the glitter. All around the edge. Make sure you get to the side too. It doesn't matter if it goes in the middle a little bit, if it moves. You don't have to be perfect either. And, oops, look at me. I'm telling you, I'm very, very messy when working with working with anything. When I make cups, I'm messy as hell too. So I'm gonna add some more here so it's not. Sometimes when I work on this table, I think I, I don't have enough space because <laughs> I need a lot of space. Thank you, Michelle. Don't worry about the mess, guys. I try not to waste glitter, but I always do, so. Kind of blind, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing enough glitter here. Yeah, I think it's on your end. It's because of the it's silicone. When I put the spoon, it freaking jumps. Look at this. Okay, so like I say, if you get it in the middle, oh my God, the hell. If you get it like over here, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna ruin your mold. Who complains about glitter anyway? I love all my bling bling. bling. And this is why I, I do it this way. I sell a dirty. That's a, every glitter and mica powder that I'm using is from my company, from Glitter by Sparkling Angels. And they, uh, they come in this container. You get an ounce of mica. Okay, so I wanna explain something to you. Okay, so what I do with these, I add some of the clear, Pay attention. I add clear epoxy to form like a barrier when I want. You don't have to do it if you if you don't want any clear on your mold, but I do. The reason why I do it is because, like I said, I want this mold. I wish I had more paper to clean this up. I want. So I'm gonna put um, clear. Let me get a small cup because I'm making a mess. So I'm gonna use clear and put it all on top of my um, glitter to uh, form a barrier. Barrier. So when I put the uh, darker color on top, it doesn't cover my glitter. I don't want. You know, I'm gonna put the color, the dark color on top of the glitter, but by putting this um, this clear coat, this clear uh, epoxy on the top, on top of my glitter, is not gonna allow the darker color that I'm putting on top of the glitter to go through and then color my glitter. I want my glitter to show just the way I'm putting it now. So, If you don't care about that, that's fine. You don't have to put the barrier. I care, I want my glitter to show. This is beautiful color. 
So I wanted to show, okay? So now we are going to go with the darker color. If you could color darker, you could make it darker if you want. I'm happy with this color like this. And then we're gonna put it all around the mold. Like I said, we're gonna put it in top of the glitter too. But since I already formed a barrier between my glitter and this color, I'm not worried about it. So, I want this to be like, uh, like fancy, like classy, you know, like light, I don't know. So now that I'm putting this color here, it's not gonna go through, but you still see the color. Now we're gonna go with the mica. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with the glitter first. So it goes from like dark to light. What's the color of the glitter? Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, a sky dragon. It's called sky dragon. So now we're gonna put along the edge where the other one finished. Okay, we're gonna put sea moss. Well, I'm putting sea moss. You don't want to put a lot because then you won't have space to use everything you're going to use, but like I said, there is no rhyme or reason. You just do whatever, you know, color you like. If you don't want to use four colors, you don't have to use four colors. If you just want to use two colors. Hey, mama. So now we're going to do the white mica. Now this mold doesn't have, you don't really need a barrier for this side because you know, it, it divides by itself with the middle piece, but you could still do it if you want to. See, I mix a lot. You really don't need a lot, but with the leftovers, I end up doing the, now I'm using Atlantic Dive. This mica is so freaking pretty. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Now we're gonna use very little heat. We're not gonna use a lot. Just mainly to um, break the bubbles. So we're done here. This doesn't matter. You could add micas here too. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter in the middle. You don't have to, but because you're not really gonna see these, this is gonna be the bottom. Can you believe I'm bored? <laughs> I usually have so much to do, but I'm bored. So like I said, you know, it's the bottom, so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna add a little bit here because it's not gonna affect my glitter. There you go. So what we're gonna do that now, okay, my mold is not full yet. That's what I'm saying, I like my mold full. So we're gonna put the clear epoxy like right here. So when you put the epoxy to fill up the rest of the mold, it's gonna push all the colors and break them apart. And they're not even gonna look like this, you know, they're gonna be doing their own thing. But you put the, this mold here, this thing, um, Jesus, the clear, and the clear is gonna push the colors out. And you don't have to use, uh, a hit gun or anything to push them out. That's why I mix a lot. I still gonna have extra. And 
and then I'll see what it does. And if I need more in the border here, then I still have some of these. Like this one needs in the border, but I don't want to put a lot because the epoxy keeps moving. But I don't want, I want to make sure my edges are like even, if you get my meaning. I want them even. I think this is gonna come out beautiful. I love these colors. So you see, I like mine a little, I like them full. You don't have to. What do you guys think? We're done. Now we have extra, extra epoxy. So I'm gonna use it for mold. Um, like I said, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I am blind, so I don't know if it's not full or it's just my eyes playing me again like, mm. Now, it doesn't mean that you can use heat. I use a little bit of, um, they say you're not supposed to. I used it and nothing happened to my mold. You don't leave it there for too long. And then I just pop some bubbles. What I do next, I spray the alcohol. This will be poster. Yeah, it's gonna be poster. Who's asking? I can't see because I have a, my gloves are dirty. So, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it. The reason I didn't leave the one for the mystery box color is because I was sick and I did a shitty job. So I didn't wanna be criticized. <laughs> I'm a sore loser. Like, I don't like to be called, like this bitch doesn't know what she's doing. So, like I said, now I have extra epoxy and I'm gonna make a mermaid tail. And what I do, I, I make them in different colors. Thank you, Cindy. I make them in different colors and then I don't have to worry about, you know, if I have a cup and it has these colors, I just throw it in there. Like, cause mermaid, the mermaid tails, I use them for keychains. And then I made mermaid tails and I made the, I don't sell them honestly, because I suck. <laughs> Guys, if you only know how shy I am to sell, when I sell it's because my daughter sells my stuff. So I like to make it pasty so it doesn't run anywhere. I don't know how you guys make it. Like I said, I suck at making molds. So I make it my way. And I don't like when this one mixed with that one. So that's why I make it like a little thick. So I just place it there. And I don't have to worry about. I'll be reading in a minute, okay, guys? Because uh, I'm not reading anything, so I don't know what you guys are saying. Okay, be careful using a heat mold also. Learn if I spray this while I'm all the glue stuff. Oh, no, I only, I only use it like minimal. I usually use the alcohol. I spray with alcohol, like, because I put a lot of it I think I want to make sure that I have no, no, um, how do you call it? Bubbles. So now, from now on, what I do, I use alcohol. 
And honestly, I can't find the 91% alcohol. I've been using 70. I don't know why they say 91. There must be a reason. But here in Florida, you luck if you find the 70. For the malt, I never use alcohol on my um, on my cups. So I only use it for the most to pop bubbles. And it pops the bubbles, so. Bye, Mama, I know you're working. Love you too. Okay, so I have these done. And I just have a little bit of, sorry guys, I don't wanna waste the epoxy. Let me make a mermaid tail. And I'm not even gonna use chunky. I'm gonna use these. So I don't have to throw it away. Every time my, my granddaughters come, they take them with them. I can't find it. I, I looked everywhere. My friend told me check online, nothing. I can't find it anywhere. Every time I search, like I said, search on my store or whatever, uh, I can't find it. And I have gone to Walgreens, I have gone to CVS, Walmart, Target. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try the freaking 71 and deal with it. That's it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I did this wrong. I was supposed to put the, uh, I put it backward. I wanted the glitter on the on the thing, on the top. Boo. Who cares? Like I say, my granddaughters come here and they always take the mermaid tails. Where are you living, Florida, Cindy? What part of Florida? See, I already got a bubble right there. Let me get the alcohol really quick before it gets hard and then I set up. Sorry guys, I lost my alcohol bottle. I don't know what I did with it. I've been making molds. So I'm gonna refill this one. Oh, okay, you, you, you're north of me, right? All right, so. That's it. No more alcohol. No more. And for these two, you can't see it, but I have bubbles. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. Hey, Jody. Oh, I want to show you something I made too. It's not perfect, okay? But look at these. I'm in Port St. Lucie, Cindy. Look how pretty. I've been making mold. I don't know why, because I don't even sell them. <laughs> but I've been making mold left and right. I made a heart. 
Like, this is with the leftover epoxy. Like, I don't know what to do anymore, guys. So hopefully this comes out good tomorrow. Oh, Jordi, I'm gonna leave the... I'm gonna leave the video so you could uh, rewatch, replay it. It's very simple. It's a lot of fun. Making mold is a lot of fun. And if you guys could sell it, do you guys even sell coasters? Like how much would you sell that for? I have no clue. Oh, I, can't, I suck at making molds. This is, this I call it my miracle. <laughs> so I suck at making molds, but you know, you get a hang of it. Like I say, if you follow this tutorial, it's very easy. Thank you, Rhonda. It's easy, it's just like, I mean, I like the way the color mix with the two micas. I kind of like that. But um, I want to learn. I want to learn because like I said, I always give it away. I mean, you waste a lot of epoxy. Next thing I want to make is the domino. I'm a Yankee fan, my friend. I'm a Yankee fan. Cindy, the mold was part, it's part of the mystery box for the fall that I have online. I don't sell mold, so I don't have any mold, extra mold. They just already, they, they are included in the boxes already. And the reason I like this mold is because it has that little piece in the middle. Because you could use it for plates, you could use it just a coaster, and then you decorate it the same way. I think it's cute. There is a mold like this one, but it doesn't have the middle piece. So this one will be complete. Like when you make it, it won't have the middle piece. So you could only use it as a coaster. The one I'm making, you could use it as a coaster or you could put it out when you have a party. Um, uh, not in November. It probably be at the beginning of December. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna have a mystery box. It's gonna be a pre-order because I need to know, like I made extra. I have so many mystery boxes left. So yeah, but the reason why I like this one, Cindy, is because like I said, it has the middle piece. So we do a lot of family get together and you know, I wanna make several because then I could put it as a decoration when I put a plate, you know, with the cookies or you know, so I want to make uh, several of them and I use Promarine. Um, I love Promarine. I know a lot of people say it stinks. I guess I'm used to it. I've been using, I was, I had a very bad allergic reaction when I started with Promarine, but honestly, you know, I, I wear, um, for the tutorials I don't wear, but always protect yourself. But the main problem we have when we have a reaction is that First of all, we touch the epoxy and we don't realize and then everything itches when you're making a, when you're making a, a, a something with epoxy, everything, a cup, your nose, your eye, and then you scratch and you don't realize. Another thing, we touch our face, okay? I have a bunch of them, so don't worry about it. Um, Crystal. Another thing, we touch the cup and it's not completely cured. The cup takes 72 hours to be fully cured. So we touch the cup and, you know, then we touch our face and that's how we get in reaction. So I've been very careful lately when I'm working with epoxy and if the cup is still sticky, you know, or whatever, I don't, I make sure I don't touch it until at least 12 hours. 
so that I know if I touch a cup, it's not sticky or anything, so I don't have any problem. I'm always scratching my face. So, um, but always cover yourself. But I use Promarine because Promarine is cheaper and I like the end results. I've been selling cups for two years and I had nobody complain about getting yellow. I mean, of course, if you, if you leave your car under the, weather, the Florida sun forever, of course it's gonna get yellow because you know, you leave it in the car there and you don't take it out of the car. Yes, Cindy, I have a lot of them. I probably have like 12 left. They're not part of the cell though. They don't, I actually the cell end yesterday. I gotta take the, the coupon down, but they're not part of the cell. Um, what was I saying? So I buy Promarine, I pay $62 and sometimes they have 15% off or they have, you know, 20% off. So something is something. And then, you know, I, like I said, I have no problem with it. So I use it for molds because it's not really expensive. So I'm planning to do a couple of them for when I have parties because I don't sell them. But if you sell it, shit, go ahead, I made that money. <laughs> I don't even know how much they go for, honestly. So I wouldn't even know how much to sell it for. But anyway, um, do you guys have any questions? Let me do some more here. Sorry, I didn't even announce the, the tutorial. I just said, ah, let me go live. Anyway, ladies, I love you all. Thank you for everything. Um, you know, once in a while, if I have nothing better to do, I will come live and pop up like one, two, three and you know show you guys something if i learned something because i need to learn stuff too i'm running out of ideas so have a good day have a good week and i wish my angels all the best if you need me you know where to find me bye